Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We've got the spark over here. I hope you can see it. And what I want to do is try to use tripod mode to get some footage going through this monument in front of me here, if you will. So uh, let's go ahead, let's put this up in the air, and let's uh, see what we can do. And so we're going to go up. And uh, we're going to do a quick walk around just to take a look at everything. And uh, really stable little guy, really, really stable. So I'm going to go into to controller mode and I'm going to go into tripod. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start the screen recording. So as you can see, I'm in tripod mode over there because I've got the stop button. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this forward and then I'm going to line it up on the monument. And let's see, I want to line it just straight up. And uh, I want to yaw, uh, yaw it around just a little bit so it's going straight. There's a plane coming over top of me, or actually a helicopter. He's uh, quite high, so I'm just going to hang tight here a minute. So that's interesting. And then, uh, so let's see. I want to start video recording. Whoops. So I'm going to start video recording and I'm going to take this forward while raising it up. I need to take it up a little bit. So I'm going to walk it to the side a little bit and bring it back. Okay, for some reason it's changing altitude a little bit as I take it forward. So I'm going to walk it forward because obviously I need to take it right through that opening. And this is a little bit harder than I thought. See, look at it drifting into that, wants to drift into that pillar. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to center this back up again. Because I want, it, I want the shot dead on. I don't know why this is... Uh, I should have OK GPS, just want to make sure everything's still clear around me, no people. And uh, so as you saw, as I brought it back towards me, it rose. So I'm still in tripod mode, so... Uh, now notice the drift that way. I don't know if it's... I'm drifting it in the stick. But look at the look at it lower altitudes it gets closer to that monument. Well I made it through, but I don't think I made it through cleanly. So what I'm gonna do is making sure my surroundings are clear. I'm gonna turn this around. And I'm going to try coming through it from the backside. This videography stuff's harder than it looks, I tell you, folks. So let's uh, let's see. I want to walk around and get behind it. I'm almost wondering if tripod is still the best best mode to be using for this. So now as you can sort of see, let's see, I want to yaw this a little bit. I should be pretty much on line with that, so let's go ahead. As I get closer to that, it wants to come down. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so happy with that. I'm not even sure I'm recording video. Well, let's see, I think... I think I was. Make sure. Yeah, I think I was. So let's try this again. 
I thought with tripod mode this would be a lot easier. But I think I think one of the things that's happening is when it's approaching that, its uh, its sensors are sensing it. Because look how slow this turns. Now look as I'm turning it, look at it drop in altitude. So that's rather interesting. So I just make sure everything's clear. I want to back this up. And I want to pull it this way. And I think I'm going to keep it a little bit higher on its approach. Now the wind's picked up a little bit. Now, now look at the way I'm sticking it. Look at the way it's drifting. I'm not sure why that is. And again, it's... Yeah, I want to get it out away from the monument. Ah! I tell you what, folks. I thought this was going to be far easier than what this has turned out to be. Um, so I'm still 48% on the battery. So I want to try this again so because some of the other stuff I want to maneuver I want to maneuver let's see let's see I want to take this down now now see how that's going now that's pretty cool see this shot I'm getting way close to the ground and now whoops I pushed the wrong stick I hate when that happens so I want to back it up so now I want to take this up so that's actually pretty good. So let's try that again. And then just straight up. So let's uh, let's maneuver it over this way. And let's try with this one. I think part of it is the collision avoidance because you notice the collision avoidance is on, and I think that's what it's doing. So let's uh, let's uh, try the same here. So I'm I'm within a couple feet of the ground, I think, as you can see, and so now I'm going to raise it up. And then I'm going to bring it back down. And so I'm down to about 30%. I get about 12 minutes of flight time on these batteries. So uh, just sort of FYI. So again, if I do the upward. Uh, it's starting now to complain about low battery, so I'm about 29%. So, uh, actually, I'm going to bring this over this way. And I'm going to bring it back a little bit. And I'm going to use a makeshift landing pad. And I'm going to end tripod mode, confirm. So it's going to go into hover. And we're just going to bring it down. Okay, we're going to land the aircraft. And we've landed the aircraft. So, uh, worked out perfect. And so, I, I'm, I'm a little bit interested in the... Uh, Oh, let me, before I turn that off, let me stop the video and then also uh, stop the screen recording. So we got all that. Now, uh, one of the things that this is, was really interesting. I expected this to be a slam dunk with uh, 
uh, this setup. In other words, with tripod mode, to be able to fly through that opening, I expected it really to be, uh, you know, a no-brainer. But uh, it turned out to be actually a little bit harder. Well, actually a lot harder than I thought. So I'm going to have to experiment with that. I think uh, Tap to Fly might have been uh, a better alternative than Tripod Mode for this. I'll have to come through, come back and experiment with that. See if Tripod, uh, sorry, if uh, Tap to Fly with uh, directional heading would have been easier. Because, in other words, I could have just set the course and... Uh, i got to turn this off because it's uh, freaking out the gimbal holding it like that. So, uh, yeah, I think coordinate system on tap to fly might be a better alternative. Uh, one of the other pieces I want to do is, uh, you know, get a quiet day and map the different segments of the roads. In other words, have it fly up and down the different roads in here, just sort of mapping the settings. So, uh, anyways, hey, hopefully you found this interesting. Um, if you've had similar problems with tripod mode, let me know below. Uh, let me know if you, if you were able to fix it. Um, you know, maybe turning off uh, collision sensing is the right answer because maybe it's these guys on the bottom sensing that stone over there or when it approaches it uh, that it's a problem. I don't know, but let me know in the comments below. Subscribe button's coming up over there, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.